Hello, my name is Edgar and today I'll be showing you how to shoot firearms safely and effectively. So let's take a closer look at the equipment we'll be using in this video. First, let's look at this. This is an air pistol manufactured by Steyr. It fires these pellets. Now you might be wondering why these don't look like bullets, and that's because they aren't. Bullets differ from pellets in the way that they have explosive propellant in the structure of the bullet. Now, in guns which fire bullets, when they fire, that explosive propellant explodes, which forces the bullet out of the barrel. However, this pistol and the rifle which I'm about to show you are both air pistols and air rifles. Now, air pistols and air rifles and air firearms in general work by forcing pressurised air into the barrel which then pushes the pellet out now here i've got two air canisters um container here holds pressurized air which is used as I, I just mentioned to force pellets out of the barrel and there's also one on the uh on the actual gun here next we will talk about the next firearm i'll be using in this video which is this as you can tell, this is very different from the previous um, item which I just showed you. This is an air rifle. Now, it's not only differing in the fact that this is a rifle and that's a pistol, but um, this pistol which I just showed you was very precise and is used for sport and is actually quite delicate. Now, this instrument I'm showing you here is very different. It's less accurate, but it's very sturdy and very strong. And that's probably because it was manufactured in the now defunct German Democratic Republic, better known as East Germany. Now this beautiful thing here fires these pellets. Now these pellets are bigger than the previous ones. And finally, we'll talk about the equipment I'll be wearing in this video. First, we have this. This is a standard shooting glove and it's meant to help you grip the gun more and also to keep your hands stiff so it's not moving about and affecting your aiming and accuracy. And next we have this, which is slightly more interesting than that glove. This is a headband with an eyepiece on it. Now this uh, eyepiece here is meant to cover up the eye which you're not using to aim. Now in most right-hand people that's your left eye and in most left-hand people that's your right eye. Now, what, you might be asking, why don't you just close your eye if you're not using it to aim? The reason why you don't do that is because it can affect your accuracy and your vision in multiple ways. So you just keep it open, but block it and blur it using this eyepiece. There are various forms and disciplines in shooting, but today we will be doing target shooting. In target shooting, what you want to do is hit the centre of the target as accurately as you can. Now that's very similar to darts and archery in the way, but it's different in how you aim. Now I'll be using a pistol for ease of explanation in this phase of the video. Now the aiming devices on a gun are made up of two parts. First, the foresight post, which is here, and the rear sight blade. Now, you notice that in the rear sight blade there is a tiny little notch. Now, to aim, you want to try and get the foresight post right in the middle of that notch on the rear sight blade. Like so. However, you want to be doing that on your target. Because of the coronavirus, all the ranges in England are closed, so we will be shooting in our back garden today. But as uh, reckless as that sounds, we are taking a number of restrictions and really? precautions that uh, make it very safe. So first, Behind of the target where we're shooting, we put a large pile of sand to stop, of course, the bullet from bouncing back and to absorb its energy uh, once it hits it. We're also making sure, you know, the standard precautions, whenever you're moving a gun about, never point at another person and always point it either up into the air or towards the ground. So if it does go off, it'll go harmlessly uh, and not towards somebody else. I'm also being supervised here by my father who holds a firearms licence. So, yes, I'm not just a... 13 year old shooting by myself. So this is all the um, farms we're going to be using in this video. Uh, in addition to the two farms I sh uh, showed you earlier, we have a larger Feinwerk barrel, 
in the background there. We won't be shooting this one today because it's rather large and unwieldy for use in uh, the back garden, as I just said. So, take a good look at all the uh, weapons we'll be using. First thing we're going to be shooting is the pistol. So, here is um, the gun. This is the pistol. The Steyr pistol that I showed you back in my room. To load this, you pull this black lever here until it clicks. If it doesn't click, then the um, chamber here won't be cocked and it won't put pressurised air into the barrel to force pellet out. So, clicked. Now you get your pellet. So you just put it into the chamber here, push the lever down, right down, and then it's cocked and ready to fire. So as I mentioned, using the aiming uh, that I showed you before, you stand with your feet apart. And by the way, you only use one hand. Okay? You might see an American police shield using two hands. It's not a very powerful gun, you won't need to do that. Okay, so you now understand how to shoot this pistol. Now I'm going to get up the rifle. Now this um, rifle here has a much more complicated process. Now you might notice that I didn't use a glove on the pistol because I didn't need to. I am going to get my glove for this, so wait patiently please. Now, on this gun, the first thing you need to do to load it is to bend the barrel down until it clicks, just like the pistol. If it doesn't click, then it's not cocked. You get the pellet, and as I mentioned before, this way, that's the back. That way is the front. Put it in like that. Then you push it back until it clicks again and it's back in place. Now the next thing you need to do is that this button at the back is a safety button. When you're ready to fire, you need to push that in. But that's only when you're ready to fire and aimed and ready. So I push the safety in. And fire. Now, with most of these guns, you should really stay still after you fire it for maybe one or two seconds because the um, ammunition is not going at a very high speed. When you're using very fast ammunition, that isn't a problem. So, I think we've got a bonus gun here. I did say I wasn't going to use the fire of a fire of a bark, but I, th I see what I don't see why not. So let's try it. Now, this is by far the heaviest of all the guns. And it also has a different loading mechanism. So all of these seem to have their own different loading mechanism. Now on this one, you'll see that there's this sort of black lever here. You have to push that forward until the breech opens up. You get your pellet. As I said mentioned before, this is back. That's the front. Put it in. And then what you need to do is just push the bleach close. Next you go back. Get ready to fire. Okay. So, thanks for listening. I hope you did enjoy learning how to shoot. And I hope you do remember all the safety precautions that we need to follow. Thank you very much.